Hey everyone, Mr. Brian here. My pronouns are he and him. And over somewhere is Miss Madison, and my pronouns are she and her. And we are on week nine, not week 10, not week eight, week nine. And we're going to talk about technical theater and design. Now, last week we talked about world theater and mask. And hopefully you got a chance to work on your mask and make something. And if you want, there's still a chance for you to share it with us. So send us an email, send us a link, or give it to your teacher to share as well. But this week, we're going to be talking about tech and design. And tech and design is basically creating the world of our play. So all the little details, the blueprints uh, for what we need, all the extras. So if you consider the play as the story and the acting, technical theater and, des technical theater and design is painting that picture, emphasizing all the little details to create it for the audience and for ourselves as well. So basically think of it as just coloring the stage and adding all the extras to it. Um, and before we move on, let's, uh, let's check in with how we're feeling today. So I want you right now, <clears throat> put on those thinking caps, think of a word that might describe how you're feeling today. Think of a word that might describe how you're feeling today. And I want you first thought, best thought, I want you to take that word and I want you to make a statue using your face, using your whole body of that feeling. All right, don't think about it too hard. Make that statue in three, two, one, go. And you have five seconds. Let's form that statue in four, three, two, one, and freeze. And hold that pose, hold that pose and take a big deep breath in into that pose. Breathe that feeling in and with an exhale, breathe that energy out into the space, bring that energy out into the space and shake that out, shake that out, acknowledging our feelings. All feelings are valid and give us laser eyes on Miss Madison to help us warm up. All right, friends, we're gonna do a quick little warm up uh, because we wanna warm up our tools of an actor, even though today we are designers. So let's remember that our tools of an actor are our body, our voice and our imagination. So first we're gonna warm up our body, reach up to the sky, stretch, 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 stretch as tall as you can, over to the left, over to the right, forward, back all the way around Woo, little party yeah very nice deep breath in and a big dramatic fake yawn <sighs> your voice as well awesome everybody roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward and give me a superhero chest and give me an evil villain excuse me an evil villain chest <laughs> all right and superhero ah, evil villain villain so tired. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And for today, just to make this super quick, we are going to do a shakeout. Friends, a shakeout is when we are going to use all four of our limbs. So we're going to have our arm go first, and then our other arm, and then our leg. You can't see it. And then our other leg. And we but are it does exist. But it does exist, I promise. And we are going to shake down from let's do five. So here, really slow. We're gonna start really slow so you can catch on and then we'll speed it up at the end, all right? So we're gonna go five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Switch arms, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Four. Leg, five, four, four three, two, two, one. one. Other leg, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. And now we're gonna go a little bit faster down from four. Four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Nice. And now we are ready to chat more about tech and design. Thank you, Ms. Madison. All right, tech and design is the blueprint for the play. So we have, let me make sure I go to my notes here so I don't miss anything. All right, so in technical theater and design, we have the different categories. We have our sets, which is uh, the, and you can back me on this mess if I stumble here, uh, set, we have sets, lights and sound, costumes and props. 
And we also have someone called the stage manager who we'll go into. But sets are basically the furniture, the floor, the background, all basically the world that you live in. So everything in terms of sets is going to be the floor, the furniture, the walls, the ceiling, everything that you see. Um, the lights and sound are going to be just that, lights and sound, all the different lights, all the different sounds that you hear to create the world. Our costume is going to be set, uh, is our costume, I don't want to say set, costume is going to be what the characters wear. I don't want to confuse that, I'm sorry. Um, at any point in time, every single one of the characters has, has a specific costume and specific to the play. Always be nice to the costume designer. Uh, props are going to be what the characters use, all right? So um, it could be anything. For example, if you had let me see here. Um, if you were doing a story like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, there's a moment where you have a crown. A uh, crown would be considered a prop because that's something that the character uses. It could also be, I guess, considered a costume piece, but I'm going to say for this activity, something that the character uses and doesn't just wear all the time specifically. So that is going to be a prop. Now, our let me see here. Our stage manager is the person who is basically running all the backstage, all the show in itself. Um, so while everything is being constructed and put together, the stage manager is supervising. The stage manager is actually like the director of the second director of the play because they're overseeing everything. Um, so we're seeing sets, sound, costume, lights, props, making sure that everything is running smoothly. And once the play is running, they are actually in charge of making sure the lights turn on at a certain time, the sound goes at a certain time. Because the last thing you want to see when you're doing your play is the lights all of a sudden not going on when they need to be, and the actors are in the dark. So you can thank your stage manager for making sure everything is running smoothly. If you see that a play is going and you're losing that sense of what is the, um, if you, uh, what is it? Oh, suspension of disbelief. If you believe the play, if you're following the story and you're not thinking about anything else but what's on stage, that means it's all running smoothly and the stage manager is doing their job. So they do not get paid enough. But that's another story entirely. Um, my friends though, this connects to the five W's, the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why. Now, every single part of these, every single department connects to those. So if we have, let me see, I wanna just touch upon, because we're gonna have a video after this. If we have lights and sound, the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why. Let me see if I can get this. What we're gonna do is if we need to say, let's say the play takes place at sunset, all right? So the lights would need to be set at a certain, I guess, uh, power, a certain dimness uh, to make sure it feels like sunset. Um, it would also need to have a gel in front of it. So we can add different colors into it to make it a different orange. What's a different... gel? Oh, you're right. Thank you, Ms. Madison. A gel is a little piece of, well, uh, what do you call it? I guess a little piece of paper. Plastic. It's trans plastic, transparent, that goes in front of the light that uh, are a variety of different colors that could transform it to make it seem like a different, any color you want. So if it's sunset, we might have an orange gel or a yellow gel in front of it or a combination somewhere in between the two as well. And on all the lights, the lighting crew, which is the people in the people that work with the lights and uh, are in charge of making sure all the lights have that specific design um, or that specific color uh, for that moment. So all the lights are set up a specific way. It's a lot of work. Um, so where are we? So we had lights relate to where um, and a specific time. Uh, the why might be a particular reason uh, in, so the why might connect, <laughs> now I'm stumbling over this, Mr. Anderson. the why might connect to a specific moment in the play. So to support that, uh, what is going on in that specific moment? Also, everything relates back to the script. So if it's a, for a specific reason or specific emotion, we might have a different light also in that specific moment to connect to the what. Uh, the who, a specific light might connect to a spotlight. If we want to focus on one character, let's take a story like, uh, let's take Romeo and Juliet. I always think of a different play when I think of that title, but that's another story as well. If we have Romeo and Juliet, and we wanna focus on one character, who might it be? It might be Juliet on the balcony, and we want maybe we want a spotlight. So we would focus on the who in that moment. And let me see, I got where, what, who, did I get everything? All the five Ws? 
Well, you get the idea. Every single part is connected to those five W's. And in just a moment, we're gonna watch a video talking in this with less stumbling, but more detail. But the heart of this is technical theater is creating the world of the play. All right, and we'll move on to the video now-ish. Alrighty, friends. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about technical theater, we have a video that we will drop in the description. And it is actually a video of real life adult professionals made just for you and they're so cool. Um, they have done a whole production meeting where they talk about their different designs. You're gonna picture for our assignment, so you can watch that video, highly recommend. Um, you're gonna picture for our assignment that you are either a set designer, a costume designer, or a prop designer. And you are going to go in your house, no time limit on this, you're gonna go in your house and you're gonna find something or make something that you can use for our play, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters. So if you're a costume designer and you're playing um, Manyara, then maybe you wanna go find a costume that you think Manyara would wear and you'll wear that for our play. Or if you're a prop designer and you're playing Miyasha, then you maybe want to go find, maybe make um, some kind of fake like gardening tool and you can use that in the play. Or if you're a scenic designer, you maybe want to make it look like there's some trees or maybe kind of a castle looking thing. Yeah. So be really creative with this. You're either a set designer, a costume designer, or a prop designer. And if you haven't, if you want to figure out what, if you want to learn more about what each of those roles does, then you can watch our fun little video in the description below I'm or to the side or wherever descriptions go on <laughs> YouTube. I don't know. Um, but friends, so that is what a designer does. Designers are super important. So always remember that, you know, when we're, we're in this class, most of the time we're actors, but there's a lot of jobs in theater. There's a lot of jobs in theater, actors, designers, directors, stage managers, like Mr. Brian was talking about lots going on. I had a quick add to that. If you have anything, if say you're just deciding to choose costumes or bring a costume piece or make something, um, would it be okay if they decided to make multiple things? Like if oh, a prop and a costume? Yeah, all right, yeah. So yeah, that's all Absolutely. I had to ask. Yeah, and if you have pictures you wanna send us of what you're gonna be wearing or what you're gonna be making, all that stuff, we would love, 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 love to see them. Awesome, all right, friends. So that is our lesson for today. Now we are going to check out about how we're feeling. So I want everybody to think in your mind how you're feeling right now today at the end of our lesson. Maybe you're excited about going to make your design. I don't know, maybe. All right, and make a pose in five, four, three, two, one. And hold that pose in, hold that pose in. Deep breath in. And bring, breathe it out, come back to neutral. <sighs> Wonderful. Friends, we had such a fun time today and we will see you next week for lesson 10. Uh, all right. Bye. Bye, everyone.